first fighter being introduced right now, Max Branis, 23 years of age, nicknamed the Phoenix. 174 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 68 kilograms with a professional record of 51 fights, 30 victories, nine losses, and two draws. Returning to Thai fight for the second time. And of course, introducing his opponent fighting out of the black corner. He goes by the name of Petaksin Oyatsi Saket, or formerly known as Petaksin Pa Samran Chai. 23 years of age, 177 centimeters tall, from right here in Sisaket province. He's had a total of 98 fights, 65 victories, 30 losses, and three draws. It's gonna be nice for Petaksin to be here, uh, right back here in Sisaket. Of course, he's serving right now in the Thai military as a sergeant. Yeah, and I, uh, I did say that Max Brannis was making his second appearance here at Thai Fight, first time it was earlier this year where he took on Senchai, and I've got to say he did a fantastic job. He did lose by decision, but it was relatively close. My it goodness, looked, the it, amount of people that came up to I me know. and said that Max Brannis <laughs> should have won that fight. It was very close, but Senchai did take it. I, I have to say so as well. Senchai definitely did take that fight. But here we are, our first fight of the evening. Petaxin versus Max Brannis. Yeah, good team there by Petaxin. Thailand versus Israel getting started early on. Oh, another good push kick there, but this time by Branis. Absolutely beautiful from the Israeli fighter. His timing is impeccable early on. Good hands there, off balance, but he did catch Max Branis with a few good right hands and jumps in with that elbow. Does pet tax in. Branis training out of powerhouse gym in Phuket. You can see there, pet tax in was loading for an elbow, but not quite getting the timing right. Another right hand there from Pet Taxin, who's making his debut here at Thai Fight. Yeah, we've never seen Pet Taxin here at Thai Fight before. Correct. He's doing a very good job early on. Sometimes what they like to do is bring back a hometown hero. And Pet Taxin has got the nod here. The fans will be on his side, of course. But does that add some pressure? Oh, absolutely. But coming back into your hometown, as you said, it's a lot of pressure. I mean, what's going through his head right now? But <laughs> from what I've seen in the ring so far, he's doing a good job. Oh, sneaky right hand there from Brannis. Yeah, Brian is a very technical fighter. He can be sneaky, but takes that kick over there once again. You know, when you fight in Sanchai, it's more about technique versus technique, but you can see right here, it's all about aggression. Is and he able to cope and keep up with pet taxing? Left kick to the body. Absolutely, and both fighters bring the aggression to the table, as you can see early on right here. And that's what the referees here on Thai Fight love. They love that aggression. They love fighters moving forward constantly and attacking. Another right kick to the body once again, and there's a few red markings on the left side of the body of Branis from all those right kicks. Yeah, but that's one of the reasons that... What's the best way to say? And again, In, instead of blocking, he's, he, he's trying to catch them instead. Now he's doing a good job blocking, but maybe he's taking too many kicks to the ribs early on. Yeah, quite right there. Oh, there's that teeth again. Flush. Fair to say, that was a little revenge there for Pentax. Then he took a, a few teeth to the face early on in the round. The mid midsection kicked it, and there's that right kick again. And like you said, he tries to catch it, and then he connects with the right high kick. Does Brannis warning shot there for Pettaxin? Brannis is more than capable. Pettaxin knows that he has to be very careful because fair to say that Max Brannis has a lot of tricks up his sleeves. He's just that sort of fighter that I don't think Pettaxin has watched him fight before. I think it's fair to say that. Of course, Max Brannis fought a lot in the Thai circuit. Or the Channel 8 circuit, and that's the end of the first round. Entertaining first round, stay with Of course, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in Sisaget province. Me and Aaron already have uh, felt some of the beautiful hospitality that Sisaget has to offer, the beautiful Isan hospitality. But in the ring, I think it's a very different story from uh, the local hole boy, Petaxin, as you can see there pushing Max Brannis in the face and connecting with all of uh, kicks to the ribs. Doing a very good job in the first round. Here we go, the start of the second round. And once again, the push kick to the face from the Thai fighter. Three out of three there. Hat trick of push kicks from Pet Taxin. Brannis, one of his only cleanly shots has to have been that right head kick. I'm sure he's going to search for that one more time. Just too many of those right kicks to the ribs right now, and he's taking way too many shots. 
Surely his uh, porter men have told him to defend himself in that regard. And again, a kick. And again! Even though Brannis is catching it, it's hitting those ribs. The left side of Brannis' body is starting to look like a fire hydrant. And once again, another kick to the ribs. He needs to start blocking those, otherwise he's going to have a bad time throughout the rest of the fight. Brannis still trying to move forward. And now Pentaxi being the one waiting for the right timing, and he does it once again. I mean, he is catching that kick, but then there's no counter at all. No, I mean, he's catching the kick and he's trying to throw some hands, and that hasn't worked for him throughout the fight. And I think we can credit that to Pentaxin's reach and how far his limbs go, really. And now going for the left kick, Pentaxin is going for a right hand once again. Push kick there from Brax. And there's that kick one more time. I've really lost count of how many times Pentaxin has connected with that right kick. He's throwing it at will and it's connecting. Why would you not? Why would you change the game plan? If it's working, it's working. As for Max Brannis though, he has to do a lot now. He can't keep taking all these shots from Pentaxin. We are inside here in Type 5. There's a cover through. It's quite hot. I don't know if that's going to play a part. Whether the uh, fighters are going to get exhausted. Molyali, a good right hand there from Pet Taxi. Oh yeah, I mean, especially with, with the conditions here, it's extremely hot, as you said. It's definitely going to play a part. That's without a shadow of a doubt. The blow kick there from Max. Oh, good right hand from Pet Taxi once again. Max Bannis' his head just knocked right back. But he looks okay. But speaking of which, though, he's taking a lot of solid shots from Pet Taxi. Doesn't seem to have faced him a lot. Going up for the clinch now, the fighter in the black corner, going for Pentaxin. That's End of round two. Here we go, coming into the final round of our, our first bout of the evening. Of course, Pentaxin in the black corner and Max Branis the white corner, signaling some of the action there from the previous round, and that right kick still connecting, still finding his way home. Oh, that was a beautiful right hand. The chin though from Max Brandis. He's taken a lot of shots from this fight so far. He's remained on his feet. It's a sign of a fighter who's definitely been training very well. But you have to say, Pet Taxin is up right now, and I think unofficially, if Brannis wants to take this fight, he's going to have to find something special and knock out Pet Taxin. Definitely not going to be easy. He's throwing some of the hardest shots he can. But of course, the tie still remains on his feet and still attacking. Oh, beautiful left knee there from Pet Taxin. Don't think we've seen too many knees so far in this fight. <laughs> Maybe the first, in fact. Max Brannis trying to take it into the clinch. Maybe that is favorite Pet Taxin instead. Of course, Pet Taxin is a multiple time amateur Muay Thai champion. Good. Good block there from Brannis as uh, Pet Taxin through that right leg. Another right kick there from the fighter in the black corner, Pet Taxin, as Brannis continuously tries to move forward and he has to do exactly just that. He might have caught Pet Taxin with an elbow that time as well as he moved in. Oh, whatever he catches Pet Taxin with, he has to throw everything, including the kitchen sink at him. Oh, Beautiful. good push kick. Yeah, to the face once again. Brannis looking for the elbow, catches it with the right. Beautiful right elbow there from Pet uh, sorry, from uh, Max Brannis. A very good job from Max Brannis applying the pressure, but he has to continuously do that. He wants to get something out of this fight. Going for another elbow, but gets clinched up once again by Pet Tuxin. Brannis having a decent round right here. Oh, absolutely. His corner definitely told him that he has to do something special. And he's trying to do exactly that. Another left elbow there, and connects from Brannis. Good knees. Doing a very good job on the inside, but we just see Brannis try to knee Pentax into the head. I think he tries. <laughs> and why the not? Clinch at close range. Absolutely amazing what we're seeing from Max Brannis right now, and he's definitely taking this round from the looks of it. Good knees there from Brannis. He did eat a right hand, but didn't seem to phase him at all. Constant pressure, constant forward movement. Great round for Max Brandis so far. 
Good push kick. Pet Taxi and happy to be on the back foot. Brannis is going to have to throw something here. He's moving forward. Looking for those knees and elbows. And he's got Pet Taxi on the ropes multiple times. From the last fight that we've seen, Max Brannis, we're used to seeing him fighting slow pace and taking his time. But this is working out for him so far. Maybe he should have started the fight in this style. Pet Taxi looks exhausted. Look, up there from Brannis. Push kick. End of the third and final round. We will go to the judges' scorecards. Great fight to start. Tie fight, Sisake. ผมอยู่ในมือผมนะฮะกรรมการเตรียมจะยกมือแล้วนะครับเดี๋ยวดูว่าจะเป็นฝ่ายไหนนะครับมารอกรรมการจากผมนะฮะและผู้ชนะใน